Hello kids, Shubha Mangalam. This is Hemalata from Little Scholar High School. Today we shall learn a very interesting topic and very important topic as well. Okay, and what is that? Yes, it is time. We shall learn how to know about the time. We shall learn the time and using a clock. It, when I do the class, you will be able to understand it very easily also. Isn't it? We should know the time. Don't you think so? Yes, because the moment you get up in the morning, you we have many activities to do. You have to brush your teeth. You have to take bath. You have to go to school. You have to use, use uh, look at the time and you have to go for playing also. Isn't it? Then you have to give some time to study, to do your homework, to sleep also and early get up early in the morning again. So don't you think time is really important in our life? Yes. So when it is so important in our life, so definitely we should know about the time and we shall in this class we shall learn about the time using a clock also we shall learn how to look at the time. Okay. Now if you look at the board here, this is a clock children. Okay. This is the clock. In this clock, you, if you see, we have 12 numbers. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, in a clock, how many numbers will be there? In a clock, there are 12 numbers. So, how many numbers in a clock? 12 numbers okay now you can see this needles children or the hands this is small hand and this is big hand okay so in the clock what we have two hands we have this is one hand and this is the second hand one hand is small one hand is big okay now so whenever what does this small hand shows children the small hand shows the hours like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. We say, no, what is the time? 3 o'clock, we'll say. 4 o'clock, we'll say. Then that is an hour. So, which hand is showing that hour? The small hand is showing the hour. Okay, children? Then, so this is the big hand. Then what is this big hand showing? The big hand will show the minutes. So, what does the big hand shows? The big hand shows the minutes. Like we say, no, like it is 410, 415, 420. So, what is it? 15, 20, that is minutes, okay? So, I am repeating it again. This is a clock. In the clock, we shall, we will have 12 numbers, okay? We will have 12 numbers. And in the clock, how many hands will be there? Yes. Two hands will be there. One is small hand. One is big hand. Small hand will show hours. Small hand will show hours. And the big hand will show minutes. Okay. The big hand will show minutes. Okay children. Now you see this is 12 and this is 1, 2, Three, isn't it like that we have till 12 o'clock now each um, that uh, space between the gap between this 12 and 1 each number will represent 5 each number will represent 5 like see 1 this 5 so 5 plus 5 what 10 okay so 2 will represent 10 then 3 will represent 15 4 will represent 20 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 and 60. Now why, why I have taken 5, 10, 15 like this? That means 1 hour will have 60 minutes. How many minutes will uh, there will be there in 1 hour? In 1 hour there will be 60 minutes. That is 60 minutes will make 1 hour. Okay children. So this 1 is 5. This uh, 2 is another 5. So 5 plus 5 would be 10. Isn't it? This 3 is another 5. So 10 plus 5 is 15. Like that. Okay.
Okay, now 15 plus 5, that is what? 20. So, you just remember that we have a clock. In clock, we have 12 numbers. The clock is having two hands. The small hand will tell the hours and the big hand will tell the minutes. Okay, children? Now, the small lines which have drawn here, if you can see, isn't it? Is it clear? Yes, I hope it is clear. So, the red lines which have drawn here, that will also tell you the minutes. Like uh, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 5 like that. Okay, children? So, basically, you understand that we have two needles. One showing the hours and other showing the minutes. And each number is a 5. Oh, each number is 5. So, when you add up all the 5's, it will be 60. Okay? 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. That means if the clock is on, uh, uh, if the hand is on 3 and another hand is on 3, that is 3.15. I'll show you now. Let us see how to check the time now. For example, now I said the our hand is small and the big hand is minutes. Now, this is the small hand. Okay. This is the small hand which is on 1 and the big hand is on 12. The big hand is on 12. So, what is the time now? It is 1 o'clock. Okay. Now, for example, if the small hand is on 2, where is Small hand children, the small hand is near, uh, towards the 2 and the big hand is towards the 12. Then what is the time now? It is 2 o'clock. Okay. So, the small needle will show the hours and the big needle shows the minutes. And when the small needle is pointing the particular number, it is that particular time. Okay. Now, for example... The small needle is on 3 and the big needle is on 12. So, what is the time now? It is 3 o'clock like that. Okay. Now, let me show here. See. Now, if you look at this watch children. Okay. Now, this is the small hand. Okay. Now, this is the small hand which will show the hours. Okay. This is the small hand which will show the hours and this is the big hand which shows the minutes. Okay. Now, for example, okay. Now, see here. What is the small hand is on 1. The small hand is on 1 and the big hand is on 12. So, what is the time now? It is 1 o'clock. Yes. Now, you see. Then, now see, where is the small hand now? The small hand is on 2 and the big hand is on 12. So, what is the time? It is 2 o'clock. Okay? So, small hand is on 2, big hand is on 12. So, what is the time? 2 o'clock. Then you see now. Okay? See, now you try to learn the time now. So, where is the small hand? The small hand is on 3 and the big hand is on 12. Isn't it? The small hand is on 3 and the big hand is on 12. So, what is the time now? It is 3 o'clock. Okay. Now, let us do one more. See. Where is the small hand now? The small hand is on Four, isn't it? Where is the small hand? The small hand is on 4. And where is the big hand? The big hand is on 12. So, what is the time now? It is 4 o'clock. Okay? Now, you see another one and start guessing the time now and tell me. Yes. Now, what is this? The small hand is on 5. And the big hand is on 12. What is the time now? 5 o'clock. Okay. Yes. Now you see this. The small hand is on 6. Yes. And the big hand is on 12. So what is the time now? It is 
six o'clock. Correct? I hope you got it now. The small hand. Now you see where is the small hand? Yes. Where is the small hand children? It is on seven. Where is the small hand? The small hand is on seven. And where is the big hand? The big hand is on the twelve. So what is the time now? Yes, it is. Which number is this? Seven. So seven o'clock. Okay. Now you see. The small hand where it is? Yes. The small hand is on 8. Where is the small hand? The small hand is on 8. And the big hand is on 12. So what is the time now? 8 o'clock. Okay? Yes. Now you see. Yes. The small hand is on 9. The small hand is on 9. The big hand is on 12. So what is the time now? 9 o'clock. Okay. Yes. Now you tell me this one. Now you should be correct. Yes. Tell me the time. It is 10 o'clock. Why? Because the small hand is on 10. And the big hand is on 12. Small hand is on 10. Big hand is on 12. So what is the time now? It is 10 o'clock. Okay. Yes. Now you see this. Yes. Now what is the time? Where is the small hand? It is on 11. And where is the big hand? It is on 12. So what is the time now? It is 11 o'clock because the small hand will always show the hour. The small hand will always show the hours and the big hand will show the minutes. The small hand is on 11. So it is 11 o'clock. Okay. Now you tell me this. Yes. You tell me this now. Where is the small hand? The small hand is on 12. Where is the big hand? The big hand is also on 12. So what is the time now? It is 12 o'clock. I hope it is clear. Yes. Now let us move to another part of the time. Let us see this now. So what is the time here now? 3 o'clock. Clear? Okay. Now we shall move to another part of the time. Let us learn this now. I said every number is of 5-5 five, five minutes. That is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 like that I said. Now for example, the small hand is on 1. And the big hand is also on 5. Okay children? Now what is the time now? It is 1, 5 or 5 past 5 past 1 we should say like this. See, this is, I said 1 stands for 5 minutes. This stands for 5 minutes. This stands for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 50 minutes. 55 minutes and 60 minutes. Okay, children. Now, so when the small needle is on 1. Okay, let me do more clear. Okay, the small needle is on 1 and the big needle is also on the 1. So, what is the time now? It is 5 past 1. That means 1, 1, 1 is already there on 1. Okay, small needle is already there on 1. The small needle is already there on 1. So, And the big needle is also there on 1. That means what is the time now? The small hand is indicating hour. What is that hour? 1 o'clock. And the big needle is indicating the minute. So what is the minutes? 5 minutes. That means 1, 5. What is the time now? 1, 5. That means 5 minutes over. That is we can say 5 past 1. We can say 5 past 1. 
okay like that in the same manner let us do this also for example now the small needle always remember it is hours okay so the small needle is on 3 and the big needle is on 1 okay now what is the time yes this is 3 the small needle is pointing towards the 3 so it is 3 o'clock so 3 and where is the big hand the big hand is towards the 5 that means it is 3 5 or we can also say that 5 minutes past okay so 5 past 3 5 past 3 okay are you understanding see the small needle is on 3 the small needle is on 3 and the big needle is on 1 so 5 past 3 okay in the same manner if you do this let me show okay now this is all let it be on the big 5 only now this is the small needle so, where is the small needle now? Small needle is on 4. Where is the big needle? On the 5. So, what is the time now? 5 past 4. Now, this is 5 minutes, isn't it? So, 5 past 4. In the same manner, let us do this. This is big needle and this is small needle. Okay. Now, what is the small needle shows? The small needle shows hours the small needle shows hours so where is the small needle now it is towards the seven so what is the time seven but where is the big needle the big needle is pointing towards the five that is what is the time the time is seven five we can say or five past seven five past seven clear now you see now, the, let the small needle be on 10. The small needle be on 10. And where is the big needle? The big needle is towards 1 o'clock. 1. The big needle is towards 1. So, we can say 10, 5. What is the time? The time is 10, 5 we can say. Or else we can also say 5 past 10. There are two ways of saying. There are two ways of saying one is 10 5 10 5 okay and we can also say 5 past 10 we can also say 5 past 10 now let me show you see now see look at you look here where is the small needle the small needle is on 12 so 12 o'clock it is 12 but where is the big needle the big needle is on 1. The big needle is on 1. So, what is the time now? It is 12, 5. It is 12, 5 or we can also say that 5 past 12. Clear children? 5 past 12. Okay? Now, let me tell you one more. Give me, let me do this way also. Now, for example, okay. Now, this is where is the small needle children? The small needle is on 2. Where is the small needle? The small needle is on 2. And what does the small needle tells you? It is the hour. It is the hour. And where is the big needle? The big needle is on 5. So what is the time now? 5 past 2. 5 past 2. Because 1 will tell you 5 minutes. 2 will tell you 10 minutes. 3 will tell you 15 minutes like that. So, 1 is we can say 2, 5. One way of saying the time is 2, 5. Other way of saying the time is 5 past 2. 5 past 2. Clear? Now, let me do one more. So, always remember that five one number will represent 5 minutes. One number will represent 5 minutes. Okay? Now you tell me this time now. See. Yes. Where is the small needle? The small needle is on 5. The small needle is on 5. Where is the big needle? The big needle is on 1. The big needle is on 1. 
so what is the time now 5 past 5 because we have to say look at the small hand which is pointing towards the 5 so 5 past 5 5 past 5 or 5 5 this is 5 and the 1 also will represent 5 minutes isn't it so 5 5 okay then you see tell me this time now Yes. Where is the small hand? 7. Where is the small hand? 7. Where is the big hand? On 1. Where is the big hand? On the 1. So what is the time now? It is 5 past 7. What is the time? It is 5 past 7 or 7 5. 7 5. Okay. Now you see. Let us move to the next one. Now for example. So you understood this 5 minutes concept. Now let us say that the small needle is on 3. The small needle is on 3. Where is the big needle children? The big needle is towards 2 o'clock. The big needle is towards 2 o'clock. So, small hand will always tell you hours. Big hand will tell you minutes. Big hand will tell you minutes. So, 3, 10 or 10 past 3. I said this is 5 minutes and this is 10 minutes. So, 10 past 3 or 3, 10. So, what is the time now? It is 3, 10. What is the time now? It is 3.10 or 10 past 3. Now tell me this time now. The small needle is on 6. Okay. The small needle is on 6 and the big needle is on 2. The big needle is on 2. Let me do a little clearly. Okay. The small needle is on pointing towards 6. And the big needle is pointing towards the 2. So, again, small needle tell you hours. So, 6 and 2 minutes means 10. The, the uh, big needle is pointing towards the 2. How many minutes it is? It is 10 minutes. It is 10 minutes. So, 6, 10. What is the time? 6, 10. If the big needle is on 2, it means it is 10 minutes. So, 6, 10. That is the way we should know. Okay. Now, tell me this time now. The small needle is towards 9. And the big needle is towards same. 2 of 2. Okay. The small needle is towards 9. And the big needle is towards 2. That means... 9, 10. What is the time now? It is 9, 10. Okay? Like this. For example, see here. Where is the small... Okay, look here. Where is the small hand, children? The small hand is on 7. The small hand is on 7. Where is the big hand? The big hand is on 2. That means 7, 10. What is the time? 7, 10 or 10 minutes past 7 we can say because I said 2 will represent how many minutes? 2 will represent 10 minutes. 2 will represent how many minutes? 2 will represent 10 minutes. So, 7, 10 we can say or 10 past 7 also we can say. Normally we say it is 7, 10 like that. Okay, now you tell me this time. Tell me this. Where is the small hand? The small hand is on 8. Where is the small hand? The small hand is on 8. Where is the big hand? The big hand is on 2. That is 2 means how many minutes? 10 minutes. So 8, 10 we can say. What is the time now? It is 8, 10 or 10 past 8 or 10 past 8. Okay, children? Now, let us move to the next time. 
that is so now see the small hand is on 3 and the big hand is on so on 3 so what is the time now it is 315 what is the time 315 or what we will say it is quarter past 3 see children this is 5 10 15 this is one quarter 20 25 30 this is one quarter 35 40 45 one quarter 50 55 60 one quarter okay 1, 2, 3, 1 quarter, 4, 5, 6, 1 quarter, 7, 8, 9, 1 quarter, 10, 11, 12, 1 quarter. So, now when this, where is the small needle children? The small needle is towards 3 and the big needle is also towards 3. What does the small needle indicates? The small needle indicates hours, that is 3. So, the small needle is indicating 3 because it is pointing towards the 3. But where is the big needle the big needle is towards also 3. That means what is the time now? Quarter past 3. Quarter past 3. Okay. Now you see. So where is the big needle on the 3? For example, if see, it is the big hand is on 3 and the small hand is on 4. So what is the time? It is 4.15 or quarter past 4 or quarter past 4. This is one quarter. This is one quarter. Okay. So, 5, 10, 15. So, 4.15. What is the time now? 4.15 or we can say quarter past 4. What is the other way to say? Quarter past 4. Four. Okay. Now you tell me this time. Okay. This, this is always remember if the big needle is pointing towards the three it is quarter. Okay. It is quarter. But now this is small needle. Okay. This is big needle. This is big needle. This is small needle. Okay, so this is small needle. So, what is the time now you tell me? It is 7.15 or we can say quarter past 7. What we can say? Quarter past 7. Clear? Now, let me do one more. The big needle is on 3. And the small needle is on 11. What is the time now? It is 11.15 or quarter past 11 or quarter past 11. Okay. 15 minutes. So, quarter past 11. Okay. Now, you see here. Where is the small hand? The small hand is on 8. Where is the small hand? The small hand is on 8. Where is the big hand? The big hand is on 3. The big hand is on 3. That means what is the time now? Quarter past 8. Quarter past 8 or 8.15 or 8.15. Okay. Now you tell me this now. Yes. Where is the small hand? 10. Where is the small hand? 10. And the small hand will always tell us hours. That is clear. The small hand will always tell us hours. Okay. So, 10. Where is the big hand? The big hand is on 15. Uh, that is 15 minutes. That is on 3. The Where is the big hand? The big hand is on 3. So, what is the time? 10, 15. So, 3 will indicate how many minutes? 3 will indicate how many minutes? 15 minutes. 3 will indicate 15 minutes. So, 10, 15 or quarter past 10 or 
quarter past 10. Okay, Chena? Now, tell, let, let us do one more. For example, yes. Where is the small hand? The small hand is on 12. That is 12. Oh, 12. That is time is 12. But where is the big hand? The big hand is on 3. That means 15 minutes. So, 12, 15. 12, 15 or quarter past 12. Quarter past 12. Okay. So, this is about the quarter time. Now, let us talk about one more time. Now, look at this one. This is big hand and this is small hand. Okay. Of course, where small hand will always tell you hours. Small hand will always tell you hours. And the big hand will tell you minutes. Big hand will tell you minutes. So, 6 and six. Uh, this is time is hour is 6. Hour is all 6 now. But minutes is how many? 30 minutes. That is what is the time? 6, 30 or we can say half past 6. Okay. Half past 6. When the big needle is on 6, it is half past. When the big needle is on 6, it is half past. Let me do one long with clarity. So that it is easy to understand. Okay. The small needle is pointing towards the 3. And the big needle is pointing towards the 6. So this is always hours. This is minutes. So, how much, what is the time now? 3 or first 3. Then 6 is how many minutes? 30 minutes. So, 3, 30 or half past 3. Why we are saying half past? Because in 60 minutes we will make 1 hour. So, 30 plus 30 is how much? 60. So, this is 1 half and this is 1 half. Okay. So, 3, 30 or half past 3. Three, half past three. Okay, let me do one more. Okay, see, uh, the small hand is towards eight, and the big hand is towards six. Okay, now what is the hour? Eight. How many minutes? Minutes is thirty. So, what is the time now? Eight thirty or Half past 8 or we can say half past 8. Okay. Where is the small needle or hand? It, the small hand is on 8. The small hand is on 8 and the big hand is on 6. That is 8.30 or half past 8 or half past 8. Okay. Now, let us do this. See. So, where is the small hand? Small hand is on 12. Even though it has more little, but it is still coming towards it. But it is 12 only. Okay. So, this, it is not exactly on 1. It is not exactly on 1. It is 12. So, the small hand is 12. And the big hand is 6. The big hand is Six. So, what is the time now? Half past 12. What is the time now? Half past 12 or 12 30. Why? Because 6 is 30 minutes. Because 6 is 30 minutes. Okay. So, what is the time now? Half past 12 or 12 30. Now, you tell me this. What is this now? Where is the small hand? Of course, it is coming towards the 2. But it is not at 2. It is 1 only. It is not at 2. It is still at 1 only. That in between. So, you will in between 1 and 2. But you will take the this number. You will take the first number. Okay. When the needle is between, between 2 numbers. When the hand or needle is between 2 numbers. You will take the first number. You will take the first number. Okay. So, 1, 
थर्टी और हाफ पास्ट वन वॉट इज द टाइम नाउ वन थर्टी और हाफ पास्ट वन ओके नाउ यू सी दिस नाउ दिस इज एग्जैक्टली ऑन टू ओके टू ओ क्लॉक दिस इज टू ओ क्लॉक बट नाउ सी वेर इज द स्मॉल हैंड इन बिटवीन टू एंड थ्री वेर इज द स्मॉल हैंड इन बिटवीन टू एंड थ्री बट यू विल टेक द फर्स्ट नंबर यू विल टेक द फर्स्ट नंबर सो टू सिक्स द बिग हैंड इज ऑन सिक्स द स्मॉल हैंड इज ऑन टू इन द सिक्स बिग हैंड इज ऑन सिक्स द स्मॉल हैंड इज ऑन टू द बिग हैंड इज ऑन सिक्स दट इज टू थर्टी टू थर्टी और हाफ पास्ट टू दिस इज हाफ वन हाफ वन साइड हाफ वन हाफ सो हाफ पास्ट टू ओके नाउ यू टेल मी दिस Yes. Now, where is the small hand, children? The small hand is between three and four. Where is the small hand? The small hand is between three and four. Which number you will take? You will take the first number only. So, three thirty, three thirty, or half past three. This is one half. We said no, one half. This is one half. This is another half. This is one half, and this is. another half so 330 or half past 3 or half past 3 like that now you tell me this time yes so where is the small needle in between 4 and 5 but which number you will take you will take the first number that is 4 so where is the big needle On six, where is the big needle? It is on six. So, what is the time? Four thirty. Is the six means if the big needle is on six means what does the six indicates? Thirty minutes. The six will indicate thirty minutes. The six will indicate thirty minutes. Okay. So four thirty or half past four. This is one half. We said no. So half. past 4 okay now you tell me this yes now you tell me this where is the small needle between 7 and 8 but which number you will take you will take 7 you will take 7 so 7 30 60 is the big needle is on Six. The big needle is on six. The small needle is on seven. So seven thirty or half past seven. Because why we are saying half past seven? This is half. This side is half. And where is the small needle on the seven? On the seven. So half past seven or seven thirty. Okay. Now you tell me this. Where is the small needle? Ten. Where is the small needle? Ten. Where is the big needle? Six. Where is the big needle? Six. So, ten thirty. Ten thirty. Six means six means how many minutes? Thirty minutes. So, or is half past. This is half past. We said no. Half past ten. Because the small needle is towards the ten. The small needle is towards the ten. So half. past 10 half past 10 or 10 30 or 10 30 10 okay now you see 11:30 or half past 11 half past 11 where is the small needle towards the 11 where is the big needle 6 That is half or thirty minutes. So half past eleven or eleven thirty. Now you see where is the small needle? The small needle is between twelve and one. But you will take twelve, isn't it? It is not yet reached one. It is just still at twelve only, near to 
12 only. It is near to 12 only. So, 12. But where is the big needle? Towards the 6. Where is the big needle? Towards the 6. So, what is the time? Half past 12. Half past 12 or 12 30. 12 30. 12 30. Okay. Now, you check one more. We will do this last one now. You should be able to tell me now. Yes. See. Okay. Now, where is the small needle? 5. Okay. Now, where is the big needle? 6. So, 5, small hand on 5, big hand on 6. Small hand on 5, big hand on 6. So, 5, 30. 5, 30 or half past 5. Half past 5. Half past 5 or 5, 30. 5, 30. So, whenever the big needle is on 6, we will call it as half past or 30 minutes. Whenever the big needle is on 6, we call it as half past or 30. So, 5, 30. Okay, children. Now, let us move to the next one. Now, see. The small needle is on 8. Okay. The small needle is on 8. And the big needle is also on 8. The big needle is also on 8. Small needle will tell you hours. Big needle will tell you minutes. So, what is the small hour telling you? Which hour? 8 o'clock. The big needle is telling you how many minutes? 40 minutes. So, what is the time now? 8.40. What is the time now? 8.40. Okay. Now, you tell me this. This is small hand. Okay. Then, this is big hand. This is small hand will tell you hours. Big hand will tell you minutes. So, what is the hour now? 4 o'clock. What is the hour now? 4 o'clock. What is the minutes? 8 means how many minutes? 40 minutes. 8 means how many minutes? 40 minutes. So, what is the time now? 4.40. What is the time now? 4.40. Okay. Let me do one more. Okay, the small hand is 2 and the big hand is on 8. The small hand is on 2, big hand is on 8. This is hours, this is minutes. Small hand will showing you 2, the big hand is showing you 40 minutes. How many minutes? 8 means 40 minutes. So, what is the time? The time is 2.40. Okay, children. Now, let us see. See. Okay. Yes. Small hand is on. It is nearing 6, but it is still 5. It is coming to 6, not yet exactly on 6. It is not exactly on 6. So, that means it is still, we will take the first number I said. Okay. When the needle, when the hand is between two numbers, which number you will take? You will take the first number. What is the first number here? 5. That is 5, 40. 8 means how many minutes? 8 means how many minutes? 40 minutes. 8 means 40 minutes. So, 5, 40. 5, 40. Or now you see, for example, okay. Okay, you tell me now, if the hand is between two numbers, which number you will take first? First number, that is 2. So, hours is doing how many hours? 2 o'clock. But where is the big needle? The big needle is on 8. The big needle is on 8. So, what is the time? 
40. What is the time? 240. Small needle on 2, big needle on 8. 8 means 40 to 40. Okay? Now you see one more. Let us see one more. Yes. So where is the small hand? The small hand is on 6. That is in between 6 and 7. So which number you will take? You will take 6. But where is the big hand? The big hand is on 8. The big hand is on 8. That is 6, 40. Small hand 6, big hand 8. Small hand 6, big hand 8. 6, 40. 6, 40. Okay? Then, let us do one more now. See, now the small hand is on 2. Okay? And the big hand is on 9. Okay? That means, what is the time? It is quarter to 2. Quarter to means, I said, no, 15 minutes. This is 1 15. This is another 15. This is another 15. This is another 15. That means, we can say it as 1 45 also. This is ours. The small needle will tell you ours. The small needle will tell you ours. And the big needle will tell you minutes. So, where is this uh, small needle? 2. Where is the small needle? It is coming towards the 2. So, 2. It is still not exactly on the 2. It is not still exactly on the 2. It is coming towards the 2. So, we can say quarter to 2. This is quarter. This is quarter. So, we can say quarter to 2 or 145. We can say 145 or quarter to 2. Let me do one more. See. Now, for example, this is the small needle and this is the big needle. Okay. Now, what is the time? This is hours. This is minutes. So, where this is still not exactly on 6. It is in between only. It is in between only. So, 5. This is 45. This is 45. So, what is the time? 545. Or we can say quarter to 6. What we can say? Quarter to 6. This is 15 minutes. No. 3, 1, 2, 3. So, 15 minutes. 5. 10, 15. So, 15 minutes. Each number will have 5. So, we will add up that. So, 5 quarter to 6. Quarter to 6. Now, let me do one more. If the big needle is on 9, we will say quarter 2. If the big needle is on 9, if the big needle is on 9, we will say quarter 2. Okay. For example, this is like this. This is big needle and this is small needle. A hand, small hand, big hand. So, small hand is hours, big hand is minutes or we can say small needle is hours, big needle is minutes. So, what is the time now? It is quarter to seven. What is the time now? It is quarter to seven. Okay, quarter. So still this, this needle has to come here. Then only it will be seven. Then only it will be seven. So what is the time still left? 15 minutes. The time left is still 15 minutes. So quarter to seven. Let me show you. Yes, you see here. Where is the small needle? Where is the small needle between six and seven? 7. So, we will take which number always? We will take the first number. So, small, small hand will show you hours. So, 6. Small hand will show you hours. So, 6. Where is the big hand? The big hand is on 9. So, what we will say? Quarter to 7. It still did not reach 7. 
it is still in between only it is still in between 6 and 7 we will take the first number so quarter to 7 so if the big needle is on 9 we will say quarter 2 if the big needle is on 9 we will say quarter 2 okay quarter 2 for now you see quarter to 8 quarter to 8 big needle is on 9 big needle is on 9 the small needle is coming towards 9 big needle is already on 9 so quarter to 9 if the big needle is on 9 what we will say quarter to 9 now you say this where is the big needle again on the 9 only there is a small needle coming towards the 10. It is still not yet 10. It is coming towards the 10. So, quarter to 10. Quarter to 10. Okay. Now, you see this. Again, big needle is on 9. The small needle is coming towards 12. It is not yet. So, it is quarter to 11. So, whenever the big needle is on 9, we will say quarter to 11, quarter to 12, quarter to 1, depending upon the small needle. Okay, children? Now, let me do one more. The last one. Now, you see, the small needle is on 3. And the big needle is on 11. So, what we can say? It is 5, 2, 3. What we will say? See if, if it is exactly here, it is 3 o'clock. Isn't it? If it is exactly here, it is 3 o'clock. Isn't it? But still it is not here. It is on 11. It is on 11. It is on 11. So, what is the time now? Still... 5 minutes are there for 3. Still 5 minutes are there for 3. So, what is the time? 5 to 3. 5 to 3. That means, once it is coming here, then we will say 3 o'clock. Then we will say 3 o'clock. But still, it did not come on the 12. It is still on the 11. So, we will say 5 to 5 to 3. Okay. Then we will say Like this. 5 to five to 4. Like that. Okay. You see here. If the big needle is on 11. More this, if it is exactly here. What we will say children. It is 12 o'clock. But it is on 11. That means more 5 minutes for 12. Still 5 minutes are there for 12. Okay. So we will say 5 to 12. We will say 5 to 12. Now you see this. So where is the big needle? It is on 11. We can say 12.45. We can say it is as 12.55. Uh, sorry. We, we can say it as 12.55 or 5 to 1. 5 to 1. So if you see this, what we can say? 5 to 2. 5 to 2. If it, the big needle is on 11, we will say 5, 2. If the big needle is on 11, we will say 5, 2. So, now if this is, where is the small hand? The small hand is on 3. The small hand is on 3. And the big hand is on 11. So, 5, 2, 3. 5 minutes. There are still 5 minutes for 3. There are still 5 minutes for 3. So, 5, 2, 3. Like that. Okay, now you see. Okay, see. So, still it is, if it is here, it is 5 o'clock. But it is here. So, it more 5 minutes are there for 5. So, 5 to 5. We will say, when the big needle is on 11, we will say 5 to. When the big needle is on 11, we will say 5 to. So, 5 to 5. Now, let us see this. 
where this big needle will be on 11 and the small needle is on 8 coming towards 8 so still it is is it 8 o'clock no 8 o'clock means like this but still it is here that means for more 5 minutes are there for 8 how many minutes are there still for 8 more 5 minutes so we will say whenever the big needle is on 11 Whenever the big needle is on 11 and the small needle is towards 8 or any number, we will say 5 to 8. We will say 5 to 8. Now you see this. 5 to 9. 5 to 9. 5 to 10. More 5 minutes are there for 10. More 5 minutes are there for 10. So 5 to 10. More 5 minutes are there for 11. More 5 minutes are there for 11. More 5 minutes are there for 11. So 5 to 11. 5 to 11. Okay. Now more 5 minutes are there for 12. More 5 minutes are there for 12. So what we will say? 5 to 12. What we will say? 5 to 12. Okay. So, this is about the time children. We have learned about the time. I hope it is clear. It is very easy. Okay. Just go through this video once. So, just take Sakshi for the day. Class work we have done. We have learned time. Then homework is practice the learn same. Learn the same. Okay children. So this is about our today's class. That is time that is learning the clock. I hope you enjoyed the class. Thank you.